All right. Hey, guys, we're just jumping right into it. This is Air with Thronark here. We're going to uh, start out with the last top eight qualifier, Danzello versus Capitals. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm pretty good, man. How are you? I'm chilling, bro. I'm ready for some good rivals. I'm excited to get a commentate, uh, and let's get right into it. Yeah, we got the, the oh, okay, we got Quapples with the Raster, and I as a Raster myself, uh, I know a little bit about this matchup. It can be a little bit uh, rougher for a Raster since uh, he is a little bit of a lightweight, and you know, given how much percentage uh, Zetterburn's projectiles put on, uh, Raster will die at almost like 60 to maybe 70. Mm. Yeah, once once you get the fire on Raster, the, the character just kind of blows up. Yeah. Uh, so Dan's trying to go for something a little bit cheeky right there, but doesn't end up working out. And now we uh, still, he, he's got the stock lead with uh, almost 50% lapped. And Oh, I, I like the idea with the clap there. It just misplaced it a little bit. Yeah, sometimes that happens. but And it's even rougher, too, when you like immediate clap, because sometimes you'll, you'll actually get drifted out away when you're not expecting it. Yeah, I get you. So sometimes it's easier to charge it sometimes. Yeah, so sometimes uh, moves just got to be a little slower in order to actually hit. But ooh, ooh. three fares, F-Tilt. Good corner pressure play here coming from Danzello. Yep. But that's going to allow Quapple to get back on the stage. But Quapple's got to watch out here because he's, uh, he's in the triple digits. Yeah, once you once you get past that 100%, that's when you really got to start being scared. But uh, yeah, yeah. Dan Danzello is the kind of player that just kind of has a really good feel for how people want to move around, and, and he, he just catches you with, like, random smash attacks all the time. Speaking but, of random smash attacks. Uh, Kappel's just going in, had had a low enough percent, so felt it hurt good, ooh, excuse me, felt it good enough to uh, try something a little cheeky off stage, and now we're on the last stock on the stage transformation. Yeah. All right. Oh, good. I like the option with the down air to start off after he got the parry. Yep. Clap? That's not going to do it just yet, but I like the alignment. Yeah, Denzelo has been pretty, about 50-50 so far on, uh, on like, raster advantage state combos. Yeah. But, yeah, Capel's really going for these claps now. It's going to okay. be really hard to DI any of them if even a, a Sour Spot hits, so... Oh, went for the down strong there. You saw that, because that was actually the perfect edge guard if he had gotten that. But misplaced it a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit of mistiming. And oh, oh no! mistimes the up as well. That sucks. I, I know what that's like to miss that. Yeah. I think if he just could have done it, like could have done it in place instead of having to do that little uh, tiny walk into it. Still able to get oh. it. Like you were talking about earlier, needed to hold down that F strong just a little bit in order to actually hit, but is able to uh, panic F strong again on the other side and uh, goes up Capitals game one over Denzella. Yeah, that was a. I mean, after what looked like a bleak star for him uh, for the first stock or two, uh, Danzel had a lot of good core pressure play, just applying uh, pressure on the left side and right stage, and really was doing a good job of not allowing Quapples to get back to center. Uh, but later towards the stocks two and three, uh, I felt like uh, just uh, Quapples was able to just uh, capitalize off of uh, Denzel's options a little bit more. It was still spaghetti from both sides, but you know, in yeah. the end, the Raster got the win. But game two on Julesville. Yeah. Um. So how how do you feel like uh, on the stage as a as a Raster player? Give us give us the uh, the lowdown on it. So I like this. Uh, I like this, and I don't like this because if you're giving Zetterburn that uh that floating platform right there is very scary for when he does like the drag uh drag down up air mm. or drag down uh, shine up strong, and if Raster gets caught in that position. Raster's already just going to be dead yeah. in that face. But 40 seconds in, and both stocks from either side have already been taken. This is going to be a bit of a slobber knocker of a game, I would want to assume. So. Oh, um, Dan. Oh, Quapple's out of out of jumps here. He's got to use... That was an interesting tornado, actually. I was not expecting yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, gets gets tippered, but is able to uh, DI out drift in just enough. Uh, gets back to state because of it. And now we're seeing uh, the slipstream is in play. Okay. Being, being a little tentative with it, not exactly putting pedal to the metal once you once you get it uh, on the middle of the stage like that. But yeah, not quite just yet. But oh, yep. yeah, that's gonna do it. A little bit of a hurtbox extend there, uh, off of the F tilt leading uh, to the Gatling from the dash attack from Danzelo, and now um, has the lead for uh, not the first time in this set, but the the first time in this game. 
butt doesn't and last loses very long. it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, good, good adaptation there from Quapples. Yeah, Danzelo had shown that they uh, they kind of favored DIing out and holding out on uh, raster combos in the first game, so was able to call it out with the with the double. Uh, what is that? Sour spot fair into F strong. I believe that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it does look scary too. Like I said, for for raster in this position. Raster's gonna die. Mm. No matter how good your GI is, it's it's gonna kill you yeah. right out there. Yeah, I was going to say there was some smart DI from from Danzelo on the uh, on the down air there from the parry, but uh, didn't. But uh, Danzelo was able to take the second game off an up air, give us the nice purple, the galaxy, and now we're going into game three. Um, yeah, who took who took that again? Was that uh, was that Quapples? No, that was Danzelo. Yeah. It's okay. One, one. So it's uh, what? I think. Oh, I, I think I'm. I think it's one one. Correct? Yes. Ah, uh, that's. Yeah. They, I, produ yeah, production I will fix it. Yeah. We trust that. We love our production crew. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Shout out to BGBC. Alrighty. So, just lands with the with the slipstream there. Uh, that that's a, a like a pretty common like landing from uh, a lot of rasters, and but it's something that like I feel like a lot of people aren't punishing enough. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you'll actually uh, keep this in mind what Quapples does with his slipstream. You saw that right there. You used the slipstream in the air to extend the clap combo. That's actually a really good trap tool because that allows uh, your opponent if he like if your opponent gets hit by the slipstream, you're you still have an active frame to get the clap right after. Or tornado if you really want to go up high. Yeah, like you do. But uh, not all the time. Yeah, well, true. Fair enough. But when when it's necessary, yes. But when I hate it, I don't use it. <laughs> no, like literally, because people complain about uh, can, they complain at me using tornado. Yeah, well, we don't need to talk <laughs> anymore about you. Unfortunately, we can get right back to the game. Fair. Yeah, these the eyes off of a. Uh, these DIs off these uh, strong attacks have been really good for the uh, Quapples. Yeah. Good. I love that little wait to get the straw there. Yeah, yeah. just uh, let let you take a little bit of a breath uh, before, you know, because the, the first time that Quapples got that parry, they kind of tried to go right into it, like, immediately. Yeah. And they ended up overshooting. But, you know, just taking a little second, that's that little, like, couple of frames of wait just to get your bearings and realize that you do have the parry, but another Gatling is going to even up the stock count. So... Mm. Oh, that little wait to get the down tilt. That was a really good reaction timing on the landing. Yeah, Dan Denzelo has a very uh, specific timing with, with his platform movement. So... I don't know what that random clap was from Crapples, but... And that one, too. That was, that was a little funky. What was that? I, I don't know, bro. All right, up air fair. Doesn't get the slipstream. No nah, conversion off it. I would have gotten for an extra fair. Just mm. extend it. Yeah. Slightly miss space. Gets the up tilt into the up clap. Yeah, that reaches even that, that didn't even galaxy too. So yeah. that that was that was funky though. That was like a double max range, like confirmed. I think Danzel still could have lived that if he had like held to the left. Yeah. But you know, because like you know, it didn't galaxy, and you didn't see the red sparks come out. Hmm. That, that was that was just a bit of a, of a funky di. I don't even think Danzel thought that was going to hit, but it did end up hitting. And tries to go for the jump read off the plat. Does not get it. Now, kind of racking up percent here, starting to lap, but Dandel's able to get out, able oh. to get out again. These dares are sadly just not working out for, for Capital so far. Good tech. All right, pity flip. Uh. Calls out the F-tilt into a, just a raw up strong. No Gatling. Very design. raw. Yeah. All right. Uh, there you All go. Right. Nice. Gets the dash tech up clap. And and Quapple's up two one. Yep, one more and he is in uh, he's top eight. Top eight qualifier. And with Dance has got if any, if anything Dan Sal's gonna make a comeback right now. Mm, yeah, they, I think it, like Zetterburn is always like like you can't count out that character. Absolutely not. Especially against the light when you're when you're playing as Zetter against the lightweight, you, you know that like you can get someone to like mid high percent and just kill them. Mm -hmm. But. I'm going to Tower Heaven here for the game five, game four, excuse me. Um, now, Capel's putting on corner pressure of their own with their own fares, but isn't able to get the edge guard. All right, back to neutral now. Good parry off of the fireball. Yeah, that, that's an important parry. Yeah, it's especially since it's something that we haven't seen so far a lot in this set. But, ooh, 
misses the back air up smash. Oh, I would have gone. Uh, that was an F clap. Yeah, that was an F clap. I because up clap was just out of range. Yeah. All right, dash attack. Good go. coverage, but great di. He tries to go for a look. It looks like a double jump read, not working out. Oh, misses the parry there because uh, I think Quapple is expected Danzel to just like land right on on top of them, but mm. misplaced it by a hair. Yeah, that was also a very interesting interesting interaction that we saw right there. Um, Interesting. That's, uh, that's what I heard. Dude. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, very inter interesting situation because uh, it looked like he, he tried to get the uh, like a hurt boss extend with a scraw, but mm -hmm. it just didn't work out, and they just completely whipped each other. Uh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. A lot of interesting situations that this character puts you in. All right, more Ooh. fair pressure. We've been seeing a lot of that in that set. In this set, that's probably the MVP move of both these characters with their fares. Yeah. Well, thankfully, Quapples has uh, his resources back, so mm. not, like, totally, like, in disadvantage at all. But he's just really got to be careful how uh, he plays yeah. off the stock. Like, there's a lot Raster has does Ooh. have a lot of resources to burn, but not a lot of health to burn, as uh, Danzo is able to take the second stock out of Quapples, and uh, just one more, and he can even it up and get us a game five. But yeah. Quapples... Oh. Okay, good. beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, that was wonderful. Beautiful extension with the uh, with the downer and the clap. Yeah, that was a that was a downer upper clap. Uh, and that's a or excuse me, that was a dash attack down air clap. Mm -hmm. Um not something that we saw a lot from Capels. Uh Capels really used a lot of dash attack on stage, not really to, to, to fly themselves off stage, but Danzo is able to get the down smash into the flame at the edge of the stage post 100. That is going to destroy the bird. Yeah, we got a game five on our on our hands. Yeah, this has been a, this has been a good set. This 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 uh this not might might not be for the RCS and might not be for the Grassroots Grassroots League, but both players uh, making it, making a hell of a set out of this so far. They want that top eight. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed by how, how these two have kept their composure so far. Uh, it looks like game five. No, yeah, DSR. Yep. DSR. Yes, sir. It happens. But uh, let's see if I'm. Oh, uh, from Quapples is Raster. Yeah, where would you want to go in this situation? Your your game five with Dan's. Where would you go? Well, it looks like we are going to uh, Trouble Pond. Trouble Pond. Yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce the other uh, stage. Honestly, I I'm employed. I, I don't remember the stage names. <laughs> uh, uh, but I agree with this a little bit. This, these tri uh, triplets here are gonna help Quapples out a little bit more since yeah. they're a little bit sp uh, spread it out. Um, you know, he's got a little bit more air room to breathe. Yeah, a lot, a lot more room to really make use of the multiple jumps that Raster has. In addition, um, oh, oh ho, ho, just calls him out with the down strong in the air. But and no answers right back. He, man, it feels like every <laughs> single time one of these players gets a stock, the other one answers right back. They just trade back and forth. Yeah, like like I said, it's a slobber knocker. It's crazy. Yeah. But, Back, back to the stage pick. I, I, I wonder, uh, considering how many combos we've seen from Capitals, not really making use of the, the multiple jumps that Raster has. It's mostly just kind of a, like a one, two, three sort of thing, and then a back to neutral. I wonder if they they want to use the, the platforms as more uh, chances for resets. Maybe actually, uh, it depends on like where they uh, where they come back down. Yep. Because you know, without any platforms, it's harder for Raster to get back down to the ground. Yeah. And get your resources back. So I think this is a. Uh, this is going to help Quapples a little bit. Recovery into the F-Strong is going to do. World yeah. last, I mean, Quapples one stock away from making top eight. Yeah, that, that was that was a that was a rough F-Strong to uh, DI out onto. But Danzo is a pretty composed uh, homie all around. So I think I think he can he can handle it just fine. And Capples only have almost having some unfortunate DI of their own as well. But able to live 90% though. Has fire stocked up, that means that any smash attack here is really going to kill, but he's able to wait it out. But Alright, yep, there it is. Alright, last stock, game five here. Uh, 62 extra, uh, extra credit. Yeah, just 62%, pretty decent amount, nothing much that, uh, well, it's something that Ra that Zetter can make back pretty fast. Oh, absolutely. Oh no, this is a scary position for Quapples. Yeah. That was that was so wild from Danzelo too. Like no, like there was no funky movement there. He just ran right towards him. Yeah, scary position. Just new. Trying to shark a little bit. Gets caught by the dash attack. No up clap. Oh. 
I'm going to see the scroll. Good oh, That's it. No. Quapples in top eight. That was nice, yeah. We have a raster in top eight. Yeah, let's go. Interesting situations here. God damn it. Look, I'm, I'm going to milk that for as, as much as I can give. Hey, yo. So we didn't, they, uh, the, the two players there kind of just went right into it before we had a chance to properly introduce ourselves. I'm Air. I'm Thronor. Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure.